Hi guys. So today's video is going to be the saddest wrap up of the year because I read two books and one manga, but here it is. It's actually not sad for me personally because the reason that I did not read a ton was because the month of November is National Novel Writing Month where the goal is to write 50,000 words in one month. That took up a lot of my time. So with NaNoWriMo, I finished it. I didn't pace well at all this year, but <laughs> the fact that it took up so much of my time is the reason I didn't get around to reading as much. I still ended up loving the two main, main, main books that I read, and that would be Shadow of the Fox and Skyward by Brandon Sanderson and Julie Kagawa. The manga that I read was Basilisk. I no longer own it because I got it used at my local used bookstore, and I read it and then decided, you know what? I didn't really like this, and then I turn it back in for store credit. I'll talk about that one first a little bit. I am trying to get more into manga. I absolutely love Full Metal Alchemist. I love it so, so much, and I know there's a lot of great manga out there, so I decided I was gonna do that thing where you see a book that looks interesting and you're like, I'll give that a shot. From what I could see with Basilisk, the artwork looked stunning, and the premise of the story was that it follows these two different clans that have to go to war to determine who is going to be the person to rule for the next thousand years and these two clans happen to have individuals that are supposed to be getting married so it's like this tragic love story and they're supposed to be these ninjas with fighting and stuff and i thought that sounded awesome i thought it sounded amazing but i didn't love the execution i'm a huge fan of fantasy so i'm always up for cool magical abilities and things of that sort but in this particular manga the ninjas and just basically everybody in the clans had really weird random abilities and i didn't vibe with them it wasn't really explained it was just there'd be a fight and then all of a sudden somebody's tongue would come out and they'd stab somebody with their tongue and their tongue became really really long and it was like a spear and then somebody wouldn't have arms and legs but they had weird scale like things and they could just, just like shimmy where they needed to go and it was it was kind of bizarre and then there's a fight scene where randomly the girl's kimono just comes off and then so the whole time that she's fighting this fight scene, she's just exposed. And I was like, all right, well, maybe not my cup of tea. These two books though were for sure my cup of tea. I loved both of them. I did do non-spoiler reviews for both of them, so I'll have those linked down below if you wanna see me talk about them for a long time. But to give you a little bit of a gist of them, Shadow of the Fox is a Japanese inspired fantasy. We follow two main characters in this. One is a very young, somewhat innocent, naive girl who was raised by monks and has this awesome power where she can sort of kind of shapeshift into a fox. Our other main character is a young man who was raised by this shadow clan of samurai and he has this sword with a demon in it that he has to make sure doesn't kind of take over his mind. And these two individuals cross paths because there is a scroll that our main character Yumeko has to deliver to someone essentially. She's got to take care of some stuff with this magical scroll. Our other main character is wanting to use that scroll and give it back to the clan that he serves. He does not realize she has it. He just thinks that she is going to lead him to it. So it's a bit of a traveling story. If you're not a fan of traveling stories, you might not love this one because the plot somewhat meanders. They're always trying to get to their destination, but it's a, it's a meandering plot because just like in real life, if you're going somewhere, stuff's just gonna happen. So sometimes stuff just happens in this book, but I was definitely along for the ride. I really loved it. I liked our two main characters. I liked the dynamic between them. I really liked that our main character, Yumeko, was sweet and innocent because I don't find very often anymore that we get main characters like that. For example, our main character, Spensa in Skyward. Nothing like that. She's definitely not sweet, innocent little thing. She is super feisty. She has a ton of bravado. She's always in people's faces, but she definitely has good reason to behave that way. It's kind of a part of her personality, but she's also had to face the fact that throughout her whole life, people have branded her father a coward. He's dead now, but she's the daughter of the coward and she's living in her father's shadow. She's very defiant against this belief that her father was a coward. She doesn't believe he was the person responsible for the things he's accused of doing, they said that he abandoned his crew. And in this world, that's a huge deal. They live on this planet where they are constantly being attacked by these aliens called Krell. And so the Air Force is like their only defense against that. And so for her father to have abandoned his crew was a huge deal. She doesn't believe it. She's got this really intense personality as a result. 
but it was I loved it. I thought it was really well done. It is primarily a single point of view story and it is action packed, high stakes, fast paced with a lot of character growth. I really, really, really enjoyed it. It does have a little less world building than I think a lot of people are used to when it comes to a Sanderson book, but I thought there was enough world building for me to enjoy the story. And I definitely liked that there were some things left unanswered because there's definitely this air of mystery about why things are the way they are and what the heck is going on. And I think some of those questions will be answered in the future books. I loved it though. I really, really liked this book. That's it for the books that I read in the month of November. Let me know what books you all read in the month of November. Let me know if you read either of the books that I mentioned or if you've read Basilisk. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Don't forget to check out the charity Save the Children. I have the link in the description bar down below. Don't forget to check out that I did start a Patreon. There's lots of cool little sneak peeks, cool stuff, cool perks that you can get if you join that. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you later. Bye.